Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me. Uh, yes, you may know something a little different. I am wearing extensions. I have the clip-on extensions, the 120 gram set in, I think it's mocha, mocha brown. They're the Luxie hair extensions. Um, if you guys want me to do a review on these, I will. Let me know. They're the only extensions I have, the only extensions I own. They're a little curled. Um, they're just the clip-in ones. They come in um, wefts, and you just clip in the wefts. Um, so yeah, I like them. I have no, you know, problems with them. Um, I wish my hair was this long. I would love to have thick, gorgeous, long hair. But um, I just wanted to mention that because you guys will see it. And I do. I don't wear these all the time, like for filming or. Um, it's just one more stop sometimes <laughs> or and you know, it's after work. And I'm tired or you know, you wear them all day in work um, It can it can be a lot and then to film and all that and uh, I do wear them just about every time I go out though um, with my friends or to dinner or whatever so um, But I don't always wear them in my videos, but I thought I would today switch it up a little and yeah, so I also have the Dirty Blonde set that sometimes I mix in to give myself a little highlights. I know, some, it may not be some people's, but I love it. So um, anyway, thanks for joining me today. Um, I have a little drugstore slash Ulta haul that I've been saving up for a while. I just went to Ulta today. Um, I filmed a video early this morning that I'll be putting up about the red lipsticks. And um, I went to Ulta right after work and I thought I would film for you guys what I got and then I went to the drugstore I don't know a couple weeks ago and we had all these like points we had to use and if we didn't use them we lost them and um, like a lot of the stuff I bought was like a dollar so it was kind of awesome uh, okay so let's get started the first product I want to talk about today is this Tresemme fresh start and this is waterless foam shampoo um, I've tried the Tresemme dry shampoo and I like hated it. People raved about it. I just, it just wasn't for me. I didn't like it. Um, but this was literally, like I said, um, this was a dollar with my points. So um, I decided to try it because that's what was here. It's for dry, curly to normal hair, which I have. So I'm like, you know what? I might as well try it. If I don't like it, I can give it away, but why not? The next thing I got was a split remedy, reduced up to 80% of split ends after three uses. And it's the leave-in conditioning spray by Tresemme. I love Tresemme's hairspray, um, and I love their heat protectant spray, so um, I'm hoping I'll like some of these products. This is a leave-in conditioner. And then I got the Tresemme Split Remedy Split End Sealing Serum, and this is just to like put in the ends of your hair. And it says, let's see. Sealing serum reduces frizz, heals and shine, and a polish finish and reduces split ends up to 80% after just three uses. This unique formula and our innovative reconstructing complex actually binds split ends and keeps working to fix damage. So, awesome. That's exciting. So, I'm trying that. And you guys are going to, the next thing I'm going to show you is you're going to be like, really? Like, you do not need any more dry shampoo. I just watched your dry shampoo. If you, if you didn't, check it out. Um, I have, like, every dry shampoo under the sun, uh, but actually I got rid of two, the Oscar Blondie and the Dove I used up. So I thought it's a dollar. It's the Biofusion Healthy Beauty Natural Dry Shampoo. And um, it's color care infused with protective sunflower oil. What was that? Sunflower oil. Paraben and sulfate free. So I was excited about that. Um, I don't know if you can tell. I mean, I my, my real hair I kind of did that ombre effect where it's like really, it's light brown, so my poor extensions like need to be dyed to match that, but I haven't done that yet. I don't know if I will. Probably won't because I'm so fickle with my hair. Um, so uh, I did recently have my hair colored, and so I thought this would be great because paraben and sulfate free does help with your hair color. It helps it so it doesn't fade. Um, the next one I got was this Biofusion Daily Volume Blow Dry Balm. I kind of wanted the Bumble and Bumble one. I've seen that one advertised, but... That one is super expensive, and I have the oil. I don't think I have it with me. I, I used it in a getting ready with me, or no, in my um, Beach Waves tutorial. Check that out. And I have the bio, 
infusion oil that you just put on your ends after you're done styling. Um, this is, let's see, after conditioning, um, daily volume leave-in spray conditioner. Apply evenly to wet hair from roots to ends before blow drying. Safe for color treated hair. So we'll see how this works. It's healthy botanicals blend to nourish, replenish, and repair for naturally beautiful hair. So just a blow dry balm infused with protective grapeseed oil and enhancing mirth extract, which I really liked because you guys just saw my how I grow my hair long with the apple cider vinegar. I'm in the process of trying to grow it this long. I never will, but girl can dream, right? And um, so I'm in the process of doing that and um, sorry, I shouldn't play with my hair. That's horrible. I've lost my train of thought. Oh, <laughs> so um, the all natural grapeseed oil really helps your hair's growth. So I'm hoping that this does too. Then I got these again, still like $2. Here we go. It's the L'Oreal. Um, this is 508 Summer Dusk. I have never tried these palettes before. If you guys have, let me know what you think. Um, this is them swatched. Pretty good pigmentation. So, um, this is like an all matte palette. And then the next one I got is L'Oreal 306 Forest Light. I think they had like a green green one, but I don't really, I'm not huge into colors. I'm more of a neutral person, but, um, let's see. This is them swatched. Sorry, it's cold. So my fingers are cold. Um, but I mean, they have pretty, the green one has pretty pigmentation. That's the summer dusk. And this is the forest light is the green. So really pretty. These are both all matte palettes. I'm excited to use those. Next thing I got, this is the L'Oreal. It's the new Magic Smooth Souffle. And this is in Sand Beige. Now, I have yet to try this. Look at that. It like looks like looks like souffle. And the texture is like bouncy. Like I feel like I could eat it. Oh my god, that's way too much. Well, I just want a little bit to swatch for you. And it's right here. If you guys can see that. But it matches my skin pretty well. And it feels very smooth. So, I don't know. I'm gonna try this tomorrow. I'll let you guys know. Let me know if you guys have ever used this. Magic Smooth Souffle. I feel like I've heard about that, but I don't see it too much on YouTube. Then I wanted to try this. This was the Dove. This was like three dollars, I think. The Dove Hair Therapy Style Scare, Style, Style and Care Nourishing Dry End Serum. Now, like you guys can't read, I know, but and this is the Dove. And this is you just put this on your ends when you're done styling. Um, Nutri-Style Complex provides long-lasting style by nourishing and protecting hair to prevent hair issues such as frizz, flyaways, and dry split ends that get in the way of great serum. Smooth, dry, frizzy, rough, dry ends. That's the whole point of this. And I've actually heard a lot of good things about this, so I'm pretty excited to try it. Okay, I think that's it from there. Oh no, this. It is the Maybelline Defineal Eye Eyeliner, and this is in navy blue. And um, I don't have a navy eyeliner. And look at how beautiful that navy color is. It goes on really smooth. So I'm excited to use that. I think navy is just a beautiful color, especially for the summer, granted. It's not the summer. It also has this little smudger on the end, which is cool, but we will see. Okay. Then I went to Ulta, and I really wanted to try the Real Techniques brush. I don't have any of these, 
a couple of my bare mineral brushes are hit in the bucket i've had them for like years some of them like like i'm going on six or seven years i never buy new brushes i've never switched them up i've only bought the sigma travel set because um i really just didn't want to travel with all my bare minerals brushes and the sigma bunny collection just comes in a little travel case and you can throw it in your bag and i mean i i travel not a lot but probably three four times five times maybe a year which i guess is a lot some of it is driving it's not always on a plane but um you know we do i do do traveling and traveling is i'm actually coming up in march and i'm and in may i'm going to be um traveling so um, that's why I got the Sigma Bunny collection, but I wanted to get rid of some of my Bare Minerals brush brushes, and I'm going to because I have these real techniques. And this is the um, core collection for ba your base flawless, high definition results. And I have the detailer brush, the pointed foundation brush, the buffing brush, and the contour brush. This was the only one left, and I was just going to buy like the stippling brush and the powder brush. But they were each like $9, and this was $17, so this was kind of like a better deal. So you get the detailer brush, precision cut to effortlessly conceal problem areas, pointed foundation brush used with liquid foundation to build coverage, buffing brush ideal for full coverage application of powder and minerals foundation, and the contour bar brush, I'll show you these in a minute, delicately applies highlighter to contour or create sheer soft focus finish. I thought I could also use the bottom one for my um, Ben Nye. And precision and you really do this little case look how cute this is to travel with this is perfect love it and these are the brushes um wow this is super soft sometimes it's just time to replace your brushes you know i never do i never bought new brushes i never felt like i had to and now i'm kind of like in the market i was checking out the sedona lace brushes which i really like but um yeah i'm excited to try these and uh, I'll let you guys know what I think. That is a really cute thing. Look at this little package you can take with you. Perfect. Next, I got the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner. I had this in Black is Black, and I ran out of it. And I haven't repurchased it just because I ran out of it. And um, It's great. I was going to buy the Max. But this works just as well, and I don't have, like, a mat close to me. Um, I mean, I do, but I don't. I just am lazy. I don't want to drive up. Oh, I can't open it. Well, I got this in charcoal. Comes in this little pot. Let me see if I can open this. How crazy. Is this for real? I can't open this. All right, I'm going to put this to the side for now. Also comes with this little brush. I already have one because of my old one. I, I don't know. Maybe I'll replace it. I might use one of the brushes that I have. Okay. Next, what I got was the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation. I've heard YouTube um, gurus rave about this, and I really wanted to try it. Um, I know sometimes in the winter people prefer matte foundation, um, but I think with the holidays, it's kind of nice to have a little glow. You don't have to worry about putting highlighter yeah, highlighter on. I hardly ever do because I always forget or I'm in a rush. Um, this was $12.99. By the way, um, the haul I'm doing now with the Real Techniques, this, and this is all from Ulta. And my total at Ulta was, I think, 50 bucks. They have, like, if you go over $10, over 50 If you spend $60, you get $10 off. So, um, just so you know. This is N4 buff beige. This was the last one left. It matches my skin pretty well. I'll show you. Just put, I'm going to put a little bit there. And I picked it up and I wasn't sure. See, it buffs in pretty nicely. And I know it's like on my wrist and all over the place, but there it is. And it buffs in pretty nicely. This is the color. So, I am excited to try that. Um, I don't have any drugstore foundations, <laughs> to be completely honest. I want to use something a little darker, so I'm hoping that this works. Um, the only one I have is the L'Oreal Whipped Foundation. 
not that I hate drugstore foundations, I just never found any that really worked for me. And I'm just dabbling into the liquid foundations because I was always using the bare minerals. So um, I'm excited. Want. And then I got this Rimmel Stay Matte. Um, I have heard really good things about this Shine Control Pressed Powder. I have my L'Oreal Translucent, no, Revlon Translucent um, Powder, and I don't like really love it. Like I said, I'll use it off. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just. Eh. Mine is in the color 01 Transparent. <laughs> so. Ooh, it feels really nice. This is it right here. It feels really nice. So. It seems like it's very finely milled. So, um. Excited to try that. And the last thing I got from Ulta. It's this new Hydra IQ Technology Nivea Sunkissed Radiant Skin Gradual Tanner and Daily Lotion. SMLX, um, Stephanie talked about this in her November Favorites. I feel like I've been having, which I've never really had before, like serious, serious dry skin. Um, I don't know if it's like, like dry skin kind of like itching and I don't know. So I wanted to try this. I am really bad at self tanning. I, my self tanner that I've been using has been the Bare Minerals Faux Tan. I haven't used it in the longest time because I'm lazy and it's hard to keep up with it because you're exfoliating and you're putting it on daily and I just don't. So I thought this might be nice to try. It's a lotion. It's a gradual tanner. This is from medium to dark and I'm excited to try this because I would rather have like a lotion. The Jurgens one smells like kind of crazy to me. Um, so I haven't found a drugstore gradual self tanner that I liked but I've heard good things so excited to try that. Then I just, these are from the drugstore. It was just like a quick little stop I did. And it is, I wanted to get the Wet n Wild and Sugar Plum, which I just featured in my lipstick video. I'm not gonna swatch this because it's a dupe for Rebel. And I, I just already swatched it. And go check out my um, Battle of the Reds video. You'll see this one there. And it is gorgeous. Love it, it's like a berry color. And then I got these. I've never had, you guys don't think I'm crazy, but I have never tried the Wet n Wild eyeshadow palettes, and I heard I had to go get them. Um, they were $5. This was all, by the way, this um, Wet n Wild stuff, these were from a drugstore. Altogether, they were like $12. Um, so these were 5 bucks, and this is the Comfort Zone palette. Anyway, this is the Comfort Zone palette. Wow, look at the ridiculous color payoff on that. Amazing. Right there. Amazing. So I'm really excited to try that. I've heard a lot of the comfort zone. They're very creamy. Now, I also heard that with brown eyes, which is what I have, um, one of the best eye colors and eyeliners you can use is like a purple. Um, it just makes your eyes kind of pop. Just I think with blondes, and I could be wrong. Isn't it green? Never use them. This one is in Petal Pusher. I think Shades of Casey was talking about this one. I saw it's one of the videos I saw. Um, I'll link it below. But these are beautiful colors. They're like purpley, blue. Look at that, that is amazing color payoff. And it is right here in this corner. These three. So, I'm really excited to try. Oh, I got it. Oh, yes. Okay, it's in charcoal, which is basically like a silvery black, but I've had black as a black and I have a lot of black eyeliners. Um, so. I wanted to try the charcoal. Oh, I think that's it. So all together, um, that is my haul for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm gonna, you know, dabble into these products, let you know what I like, what I don't like, and um, yeah. So tomorrow, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a naked palette review. I do not have the new naked palette. I'm not going to get it. I swear I'm not going to get it because I have Naked 1, I have Naked 2, and I have the 25th anniversary palette. I don't need it. And I just did this little haul. I might buy it for as a gift for one of my friends because I still need to go shopping for one of my friends. And she doesn't have either Naked palette. 
don't know if any of you guys have tried it let me know I was either gonna buy her that or a Too Faced palette um, so like the romantic eye or something I don't know we'll see I don't even have a Too Faced palette um, okay oh by the way my ring this is from Etsy this is from Meat Mark I got this years ago my Target watch uh, I got these for my birthday. This is a skull brace that I got in Toronto at a boutique. Just a hair tie. And then this is my, by the way, I always wear this and I never talk about it. This is my evil eye bracelet from Etsy that I always wear. Yeah, I'm not wearing any earrings or a necklace. This shirt is from Marshalls. It's got little skulls on it, which you've probably already seen. Okay. All right, so that is it. I hope you guys um, have enjoyed this. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you in my next video. Tune in tomorrow. I think it's going to be tomorrow, hopefully, where we can talk about Urban Decay. Okay, bye guys.